Carlos Woodard? Uh, well, I'm a producer, writer, um, rapper. But as far as internationally, we toured to Europe. Um, we did that in 07, and then we also did a second last year. We do Switzerland for a week, Lucerne, Switzerland, and then we move into Italy portion for about two weeks. So it's normally a three-week tour. Well, um, the last person I worked with was Natalie Cole. This was in the late 80s, in 1987. Actually, my mother and, and Natalie's aunt, we call her Aunt Bay, uh, was like sisters. So, to me, Natalie's like a play cousin. Um, role models in gospel music, um, my biggest influence was probably the voice of the great Vanessa Bell Armstrong. Something about her style. It was a voice that you thought, well, is this really a good quality voice because she had that raspy sound? I have, my, I have a group uh, that I'm working with, it's called 815 Gospel Boys, and um, I'm working on our first uh, CD, and I have several songs written for that, but hopefully I should have it done by, uh, hopefully in seven months. Performer, slash singer, songwriter, um, I act a little bit. You know, if you go way back, 10 years ago, you might be able to learn a song by just listening to parts. But now it's, it's deeper than that. Sometimes you can't even hear the bass of the song. Well, I think, I think we finally reached a place where I think in terms of musicianship, there used to be a disparity between a gospel musician and maybe a secular musician. You, you want to hear that, that sound. together, you know, because it's nothing like that. You, you can quantize all you want, but it won't have that same flavor. I, I want to I wanna have Eddie Griffin and them want to trip on me, which in turn would have you, have you, you know, have a book booked up for the next 10 years. <laughs> yes, uh, actually I do. Um, I listen to uh, Cheese, cheeseburger, and um, Mar Maurice, and, uh, and Ray Cannon. I would go to church, and a lot of different musicians was playing guitars and drums and, and keyboards and stuff like that in church, and I always had a desire to want to do that. I got started actually, I started out playing piano at the age of seven. My love has always been the bass guitar, but I started playing bass in 97. Uh, sound is very important because you have to have the balance between the monitors and overhead speakers, and you gotta be able to hear each voice, each instrument, um, and all. you have to all make that blend on that board. Well, when I was singing with that group, I was kind of young and not really paying attention to, to what was going on as far as the business aspect of it. My thing is I loved singing and really didn't pay attention to uh, how all of that went down. So, as you said, Prime Minister is nationally known, but I'm not. So, <laughs> let's okay. just leave it at that.
Now, that's something I always wanted to do ever since I was five. Just growing up in Allen Chapel watching. Man. Okay. Man, just if you really want to do it, you know, stick to it. Uh, you know, don't let nothing stop or hinder you. And if somebody criticizes you about something, you know, listen to it. Don't take it personal. I didn't play the band in high school. And I wish I would have did that in school. Because I got through that church and learned how, you know, you know what I'm talking about, especially like in jazz. If you notice, boom, somebody stay in the pocket, somebody run lead, boom, come back in the pocket. You know, I didn't learn that. Sometimes you have musicians, they just want to be all oh, out. Oh. It's like, oh, whoa, oh, we, we everywhere. Thank you.